I'm Atuba George and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. Are you ready? Let's call for that daily bread. Say, Father, I receive today my daily bread. It's coming to me right now. Angels, go bring that which belongs to me today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Receive a miracle today. Jesus said, by your words, you shall be justified. So receive right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go into today's broadcast. Father, we all know you. Your word is truth. It enlightens. It brings forth transformation to our beings. Holy Spirit, you will take every one of us and guide us into your truth right now. In Jesus' name, I declare every body is lifted, yokes destroyed right now in your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. So, I was talking to you how the Lord began to talk to me about tithing. And, and he instructed me. He said, look, the tithe belongs to me. If you believe that the tithe belongs to me, and you give it to me because you believe, then you should do it right by asking me what you should do with the tithe. I remember then thinking, whoa, so how are you going to do this? And how are you going to teach this? It was a revolutionary thought that came to my spirit. I, I, I'm telling you, I began to see, eh, oh, Barush. You see, the problem with a lot of people, including pastors, is that the Holy Spirit is not their teacher. You know what they do? They pick several books, several authors. Those become their teachers. They get good books, no matter, is it, no matter how wise a person is. The Holy Spirit is the wisest because he is the wisdom of God. And when he becomes your teacher, because cause I, I sat down with the Lord, you know, and I began to look at a whole lot of things. Because I was like, hey, you can't, why, why are you bringing this now? Why are you bringing this now? And I said, I'm not just bringing it now. Go, go study the word. Go study your Bible. And I began to study the Bible where Titan is concerned. Because I just let me study everything concerning Titan. Because you want to be sure that what you're hearing is sound and clear. And I found out that even Moses... In the Old Testament, and Moses didn't start tithing, you know that, right? Abraham was the first person that actually paid tithes. And he, he did that by the teachings of Melchizedek, by the teachings of God, see? Because Melchizedek was a manifestation of the Holy Spirit. So, so that was God that taught him to tithe. And the Lord began to show me from scriptures, even in Moses, how God didn't just tell them one way to tithe. He told them there is the tithe where you have to take the tithe with your family to a place where God would send you, where God would mention. And then you go there, sit down with your family and eat the tithe. And then I saw another one that God specifically said, this one is for the Levites. See, so it says the Levites will come and receive the tithes from the people. And he mentioned the specific tithe they have to receive. And then God told them that the, there's a, every practice of the third year, which is the year of tithing. And then he said on that year, they will gather up their tithe every year. So, so they, they, they won't give their tithe minimal, you know, like they, they were giving it was sparingly. They will gather it, store it up 
until the end of the year and then they will put everything at their gates and then when they do that the widows the fatherless the strangers the levites will come and take to their food and for the first time the lord said to me he said you remember when jesus went into jerusalem yeah he sent his disciples says go into the street you will get to a junction and then you see a, a court tied losing it and he says if any man asks of you why are you losing it tell them the lord has need of it that was the first time the holy spirit said do you realize that jesus sent the disciples to go and take that ass or that cut because it was someone's type jesus knew that it belonged to his father now that's the reason jesus didn't tell them say the um jesus have need of it no they, they they would have fought them because they didn't believe in jesus but jesus told them tell them the lord have need of it he chose that word because when they now hear the lord have need of it oh because it was kept there for the lord in the first place that 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 family or whoever that person that kept that that cut outside knew that he was supposed to pay his tithes that way how did i know that the holy spirit see and then i began to see from scriptures whoa and then it's easy to relate because because now today I, I don't know which tithes is going to be for my family i don't know which tithe is going to be for the levites i don't know which tithe is going to be for the fatherless the orphans and, and you know what i'm talking about i don't know which tithe will be for each person so how do we do this now and then that's where the holy spirit comes in that's where the lord is saying to you ask me now ask me today he gave them all those instructions then because they couldn't hear his voice today we can hear his voice by ourselves so ask him and then okay so i asked but i've not heard anything yet then keep it keep it he said, ah, am I supposed to keep my tithe? Oh, even in the, in Moses told them, the third year of tithing, he told them to keep the tithe for the whole year. And you're complaining about keeping tithe for two months. Moses told them to keep the tithe for the whole year. So they paid the tithe at the end of the year. Not every tithe. See, the third year tithe, the, the year of tithing. So you just find out that, that oh, Maroshiki. Now, when I heard this, and I, and I began to wonder, I wrote a book then, you know, Titan and Moss, not an option. And I, from that moment, I began to practice this. When I'm blessed by the Lord, I take out the tithe. Because the Lord told me something. He said, listen, Alakasha Kama. The purpose for the tithe, ah, listen, the, when, when, when you see us walking in some level of financial uh, blessing, and, and not just financial blessing now, financial intelligence, I'm sharing with you where it came from. You can get to that point where you are actually never behind in anything. In anything so we began to practice that personally and then also in our ministry you know we'll go before the Lord say Lord what, what do you want us to do with this tithe? thank you Lord and then the Lord will command us send it to so so and so send it to, and I'm telling you we've seen miracles in that year we've, we've been in situations where ministers church because sometimes you tell you send it to this church send it to that minister or send it to this brother send it to this person you know he keeps giving those instructions sometimes he, he won't tell you what to do with it for months and then by the time he tells you what to do with it oh dear Lord you 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 just become a big blessing to someone And sometimes people, you know, you just send money to them and someone's like, whoa, do you know this was exactly what I was praying to God about? Yeah, God answered you, praise God. He heard you and he answered you. Now, 
I began to notice something when we started doing that. I began to notice someone would just call and said, Sir, the Lord asked me to send my tithes to you. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, have you read my book on Titan? Oh, no. Have you heard me preach on Titan before? No. So, you mean the Lord? He said, yeah, Lord. Last night I was praying and then God said, I should send my tithe to you. I said, I shouldn't send it to my church, I should send it to you. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, of course you've got to obey God. But, but I'm wondering, you know when, when Elijah thought he was the only prophet and God said, guy, <laughs> I've got 7,000 prophets who have not bowed to bow yet. Because I was thinking, I'm the only one who's receiving this revelation. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'm just thinking, I'm like, God, where do we start from? How do we make the church know? And, and suddenly, I began to discover there is an army out there that are receiving the same instruction without me. And, and, and they, you, you, how do you know? And, and most of them don't even understand what's going on. They are just like God said. God said. And we began to realize, you see, because now, you know, the Bible says, <laughs> Jesus said, the same measure you meet out, it shall be measured back unto you. Now, the measure is this. How do you give? You give by the Holy Spirit. Now, the Bible says, anyone who sows in the flesh, will of the flesh reap corruption. But the one who sows by the Spirit will reap life everlasting. How do you sow by the Spirit? When you allow the Holy Spirit guide you on tithing, where to tithe and where to sow. You know what I'm saying? Now, you, you, you are allowing the Holy Spirit guide you. Guess what? It is a measure because the devil will not be able to tell where next you're going to give. Guess what? The same way he cannot tell where you're going to give next is the same way he can never trap your receiving. It's a measure. He can tell how you give. He can tell how you receive. Because you wait for the voice of God and he can't track the voice of God. He, he can't. He doesn't know when the voice of God is coming. He doesn't. He just waits and then he hears his own. Oh, this is what the Lord has told me to. Oh, okay. <laughs> See? So he, he can't track that. So also he can't track who God is going to send to you. I began to see this walk. I'm like, whoa. He, he just begin to raise people here and there because you see I tell people all God needs from you is your obedience forget the rest he said Samuel said to Paul Saul obedience is better than sacrifice listen you all you know, you know sometimes yeah you know there are people who give for showmanship so, cause, 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 I want to, I want to let my pastor know that I'm the one that gave that tight. So I don't want to hear anything. I'm taking it to church. You know? I heard people giving testimony. I gave 10 million. I gave, I, my pastor must know that me too, I can give this. Now, when you give like that, there is no blessing to your giving. Your blessing is actually the knowledge that your pastor now have, that you can give that amount. So the pastor looks at you, oh, millionaire, you know, or I want this church to know that me too have arrived. Yes, the church will look at you and say, oh, brother, have arrived. That's your reward. You've gotten your reward. But if you want to give to God, then you better look for God's reward. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We began to practice this in every way. We wait on God. He commands us, tithe here. Thank you, Lord. And the most time, we don't even have to tell whoever we're giving it to that this is our tithe. No, we don't have to. We don't really have. Because tithing is with the Lord. See? It's between you and the Lord that knows that this is the tithe. Now, when you are giving it out, except for teaching purpose, that will say, this is actually my tithe. Are you serious? God says you should give your tithe to me. 
I remember then, you know, when, when I wrote that book, I remember a dear sister came to me and said, my, 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 my mom read your book and she said, da, that's, that's not possible. That's not possible. Da, how can you say, we you know, the tithe belongs to the church. How will the church now be paying their staff? How will the church now be, you know, doing all those things if, if we just give the tithe anyhow? You don't give the tithe anyhow. You give the tithe by the leading of the Spirit. Guess what? A few days after she, she had this conversation with her, her mom, someone walks up to the mom and gave her some money and said, the Lord told me to come and give you my tithe. And she's like, hey, I'm not a pastor. I said, no, but, but I have to obey God. That's what God said. And then she remembered what she read. She had to call her daughter and say, come, 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 come. Something is going on here. See what, it has never happened to her before. Listen to me. God set up the tithe in system. Not because he wants to enrich heaven. It's because he wants to reach out to you. That's what God meant when he said to me, I have a lot of money on the earth that you don't know. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We've got to stop here. Praise God. Father, we all know you today. These words are precious, Lord. And they are so powerful. They meet the needs of everyone listening. Thank you for the guidance of your spirit, Lord. And today, miracles are taking place in our lives as we believe. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.